Hey guys, it's Carcat here. I'm making this video to show how I play the game uh, Skyrim. And uh, primarily, it's uh, this video is going to be for a friend of mine who plays on the PS3. I just want to show him some better tactics for playing the game so he can enjoy it better. So, uh, first of all, he was actually looking for a uh, Dwarven location that I found. Uh, it's called Avon Chazelle. Uh, it's actually south of Trevor's Watch, Fort Amal, all these here. Uh, it's just in this little alcove here. Uh, it's uh, west of Riften here as well, if you want a better reference. So we're trying to find it earlier, and I completely forgot where it was, so it's going to be right here. So, uh, alright, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out of here. Um, first of all, I'm going to go over what I'm wearing, first of all, here. So I made my guy go primarily light leather so he can move around easier. Uh, went with, like, elven, elven gear. Upgraded it using the uh, workbench that you can find in a blacksmith area within town. Uh, you're going to need moonstone and uh, malachite, basically, in order to uh, upgrade this. But it makes it pretty hefty good armor that gives you uh, good defense in case you do get caught. And not to mention, uh, it's very light so you can move faster. Um, I also found some archery enchants from some some items and actually disenchanted them. And then enchanted this uh, with the bow damage. Uh, didn't do it on every single thing, because I want to see if I can get some better enchants before I enchant the good gear with it. But, uh, yeah. Also got the, uh, here, let's find my bow. Where is it? Oh. I'll find it here. I got lots of stuff. Oh, I gotta go into weapons, of course. New mistake. Anyways, got a uh, glass bow here. Uh, fire enchanted it. I found this within one of the Dwarven Districts. I think it was actually this one here. Um, very nice bow. I upgraded it with the workbench as well. It, uh, as you can see, does lots of damage there. Um, on top of that, I have, which I'm going to get here in a second, I have uh, passive unlocked, so I get more damage with bows. So uh, here, I'm going to go ahead and go into that. Uh, here. Let's open up the skills. Okay, so the primary things I, I worry about as far as battle as three major skills, which is main one, being sneak, second one being archery, and the third one being light leather. Um, the third one really is optional, but I feel in the scenarios when you, if you get caught, um, that light leather definitely comes in handy. You can put it in other places as well, I've done that. But uh, as you can see here, I basically filled out everything except for the uh, one-handed weapons, because I felt even though one-handed weapons are really nice, like you know, here you can do really nice uh, damage with them. Even though the one-hand weapons is uh, pretty decent, if you really know how to use a bow well, you won't need it. You'll be able to kill people with your bow before they even touch you, and if they do, you're still going to kill them with the bow since they're so low. Um, but yeah, see, I got deadly aim here. Very nice. Um, see, this is if you want to go one-hander. If you really want one-handers, if you feel you're not that confident with a bow, I'd suggest going into this. Otherwise, I'd say go for everything else besides the, uh, you know, besides the uh, the daggers. Um, went with this just because it's, it's kind of convenient and it unlocks these other ones here where you can uh, basically uh, roll forward while in uh, while you're, uh, you know, when you're, when you're sneaking around. Um, here, let's see. The main one I want to go over that's really, really nice. Actually, no, that's a different tree. My, my apologies. Uh, so yeah, just basically that's what you want to get for sneaking, is so you can sneak better while you're shooting at people. Uh, might as well look in the light armor here. reason you want to get in the light armor is because in the scenario that you are indeed caught and you're taking damage, you're going to want to not drop instantly. So what I did was I, put a little, I started putting a little bit of points in here. Uh, basically gives you more uh, armor from your light armor, so you can move faster plus have some decent armor. Um, other things it did was, you know, just to move faster. There's some other stuff here, like, you know, stamina regeneration, additional armor bonus, and then you can invo avoid some uh, damage later on. So it's really, really nice if you get caught. Um, I'm not worried about too much right now, though, since it's pretty much been obliterating everybody. And then the, uh, okay, sorry. The third thing I've been going into here is uh, archery. And the main thing for archery that I really, really uh, suggest getting right away is Eagle Eye. Uh, this basically enables you when you have your uh, your arrow drawn back. You can when you zoom in, or when basically when you uh, for mouse or for a computer, it's uh, right click with your mouse. It you uh, basically hit someone with your bow to knock them back, so you can shoot them again. This will do while you're holding that back. It will zoom in, and it will also slow down 
uh, it'll slow down time so basically you get a nice accurate shot in it's really really handy um, everything else is pretty much self-explanatory you know pr I'd say pretty much fill in every single spot here it just really does come in handy um, for later on when you're shooting at people uh, and then for like health and stamina I primarily went stamina I still every now and then put health in though because in this scenario you get caught and you're taking major damage you want to try to outlive blows in order to like you know get some potions or uh, attack them from afar or sneak away if you can um, because I mean the, if you just dump all your points into magicka or stamina that's great you're gonna have lots of uh, you know utility and be able to uh, basically throw almost attacks at them but if they catch you which more likely they will they can like two shot you and then what's the point of all that stamina and magicka so anyways sorry for the long explanation there so I can get out of here um, I basically want to go into how I move around so first things first when I move around I in areas I, I'm not familiar with on like cities or like maybe if I know I cleared out an area I'll be okay I'll zoom out and I'll just kinda crouch down make sure I'm hidden uh, my stealth is so high that you know like I can pretty much be standing in front of somebody and oh I found a chest okay sorry can I go and take that apart? Um, see some good stuff. Look at that. Look, look at all that good stuff. Alright, anyways. Um, so, Tommy, if you're watching that, buddy, this is my friend. If you come up here, you see that little thing? This is your exit. Uh, when you finally complete the whole area, you get you come out of there. Just come up from this ramp. Look, chest right there. Has some pretty good stuff. Anyways, um, so yeah, I basically zoom out and I go around like this in crouch mode with my bow drawn. Uh, looking around for what I can find. Um, I'll slowly start to sneak down and uh, I'll keep my eyes open for any enemies and when I come in range of any enemies I will zoom back in, get my bow out, uh, try to stay back as far as I can and then shoot them from afar. And since you're sneaking um, you aren't detected right away unless it's a really good enemy with good detection and uh, you can basically just keep shooting at them without them even noticing you. Uh, it's really, really nice. It's really convenient. A lot of people do it for this reason. Uh, and in the situation they do find you, it's like tough luck. You're super low, I'm super high, and I can shoot you in the face as I please. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, as I was telling my friends, uh, you can go like melee. It does work. Um, it's only going to work one of two ways, though. You can go Berserker with, like, you know, two-handed weapons, but you're going to want to get lots of health to outlast enemies, and you're going to want some decent armor that's going to be able to take some blows since you're melee range. Uh, the other thing is getting a one-hander and a shield. And, you know, if that's going to allow you to block, uh, mitigate damage, and then one-hit people uh, with your mace or your, your one-hand weapon. Oh. What do we have here? This just looks like a civilian... But, uh... Oh, I hear a bear, though. Anyways. I'm gonna try to show you guys how I basically snipe enemies here. I definitely hear bears, so I want to see if I can snipe that. Sorry. It's kind of hard to uh, tell where things are when I just hear them. So... There's a fox, but I definitely hear a bear, and I would like to uh, take out an enemy that actually like won't get one shot, so I can show an example of what I do, basically. Um, so, oh, there he is, okay. Alright, so first thing I do is I try to get some distance between me and the target, enough so I can still shoot them, but so that they're not so far away that I'll get, you know, destroyed. So, go ahead and pull back your arrow, zoom in, aim for a nice spot there, a little... If they're further away, you're going to want to aim higher up. If they're lower away, you're going to want to, want to uh, or closer range, you're going to want to aim lower. But as you can see there, look at that, right away, just a two shot. Um, I mean, this is a pretty easy target, my level. Um, ooh, I think I heard another bear. But anyways, yeah, pretty, pretty easy target at my level. Um, but th this... You, you you have no clue how how handy this is just shooting people like this um also as far as arrows go you want to go for get some good quality arrows uh, and if you get the perk that allows it so you recover more arrows from dead bodies when you shoot them that's really nice uh, be sure also if you miss any shots or if it's uh, when you're attacking a mechanical units that you uh, 
pick up your arrows after you find you know you shoot them off because uh, they re that really does help. So uh, that's the basics. Um, as far as dragons go, yeah, occasionally you get lucky. You'll find someone else tanking a dragon for you. You can bring companions along if you want. I, with this spec, I really don't need companions. They just kind of get in the way. So I just kind of, you know, go lone wolf. But basically this is just it. It's getting nice, decent light armor. Um, walking around, uh, you know, stealth when you don't need to be. You know, if you want to get around quicker, see, look at that. You just use your sprint key while you're running, and since you have so much stamina, you can pretty much keep doing it. It looks silly, makes you look like Sonic the Hedgehog, but it works if you want to get further, you know, without being detected. Uh, it also, this, actually what I'm doing right here is a nice method if you get caught too while stealth or when you attack someone. You can basically just keep doing this to get away from them to a point where they either reset out of aggro range or they can't detect you anymore, and then you can come back and shoot them again. Uh, that's if they're, like, you know, decently high in damage. Otherwise, just shoot them in the face with your bow. But, um, for my friend once again, it's, I know you don't like playing zoomed in, but when you're playing archery like this, when you're in battle, it really does help. See how the crosshairs line up? You can shoot a lot better. And, you know, third person mode, if they're up close to you, it's kind of hard to shoot. The crosshairs are still there, but you, you're not getting as much accuracy with it. It's like, it's like kind of, uh, trying to shoot a gun while not looking. I don't know. That's, that's basically the analogy I was thinking of. But, yeah, sorry for the long video, guys. Um, this is just the basics. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments below. And that's about it. Thank you for watching.